confused about ansible variables in next 10 minutes i'll give you a complete understanding of ansible variables and how to manage them hey chanchal boss here with another dose of ansible today my agenda is how and where to define ansible variables understand variable scope and precedence include variables and tasks from external file but before that to begin with let's understand the naming convention for variables in ansible variables always begin with a letter cap or small can include any number of underscores or numbers examples are here on the right but should not start with a number or underscore and should not be a special character for example hash at the rate exclamation all this should not be included examples of invalid variables are also on the screen <laughs> variables in ansible could be defined at four different places inside a playbook using vars colon in a file outside the playbook using vars underscore files in an inventory file or directory or you can set it from the command line now variable precedence order depends on where they are defined variables defined in an inventory could be overridden by variables defined by the playbook and variable defined in the playbook could be overridden by variables defined on the command line so the order of precedence is command line playbook and inventory first let us understand the command line option variables can be passed in via command line when calling ansible playbook with the minus minus extra vars option here is an example user is defined to be alice in playbook however we overwrite the user as john using the minus minus extra dash variable in command line option now let's run the console application example.yaml file is here where user is defined to be alice now in our command line option we'll overwrite the user by passing on the minus minus extra vars equals to user john now if you run this playbook user john will be created though in the playbook user is defined to be alice this is because command line options always takes precedence over playbook commonly variables are declared in a playbook for example here vars colon then foo colon bar variables can also be defined in a list style here users is the variable and the lists are john rahul and rahim but variables could also be defined outside the playbook in a file for example the files are packages.yaml and user list.yaml details of packages.yaml and user list.yaml is here to drive home how variables are defined and used in playbook let's take following example ftp server.yaml playbook creates an user alice in node 2 and installs ftp server in node 1 starts ftp server uses vars vars underscore files include vars and ansible underscore hostname vars let's take a look how this entire exercise works in the command line or the actual console here is the playbook in the console and now i'll run this playbook with the ansible dash playbook command line option Variables are also defined in inventory files. Inventory variables that apply directly to hosts fall into two broad categories. Host variables that apply to a specific host and group variables that apply to all hosts in a host group. Here is an example of inventory file. Servers is a group. Ansible underscore user equals to Rahul is a host specific variable. 
then host2 has a different variable ansible underscore user equals to zim. Second part, servers colon vas defines group variables applicable to a group of hosts. Host variables takes precedence over group variables. But variables defined by a playbook takes precedence over both. You can make groups of groups using colon children suffix. Here is an example of that. The disadvantage of this approach, it makes the inventory file more difficult to work with, mixes information about hosts and variables in the same file. Using group bus and host underscore verse directories in the is the recommended method. The preferred approach to create two directories, group underscore verse and host underscore verse in the same working directory as the inventory file or directory. These directories contain files defining group variables as well as host variables respectively. This is the standard approach for multi-stage environments by completely separating each operating environments. Instead of maintaining all your hosts within a single inventory file, an inventory is maintained for each of your individual environments like dev, prod, stage, etc. Here is an example. Our project has dev environment. All the configuration elements are in dev directory. Consider the following scenario where in dev environment there are two data centers to manage DC1 and DC2. The following inventory file project under slash inventory content of the inventory file is here. Group specific variables are in files with group name. If a general value needs to be defined for all servers in both data centers, a group variable can be set for data centers as shown here. That is group underscore var data centers, the data center group. If the value to define varies for each data center, a group variable can be set for each data center that is for DC1 and also for DC2. Host specific variables are in host bus directory in files with the name of with host names node1example.com, node2example.com and so on. If the value to be defined varies for each host in every data center, using host variable is recommended. As shown here, each of the host variables are defined with the in files of the host name itself under host underscore vias directory. For a multi-stage environment, targeting deb, stage and prod, there could be folders like deb, stage and prod, as shown here. As you deep dive into automating using Ansible, you need to refer to Ansible documentation very often. I have given the link to this variables page documentation below this page and all relevant documentation pages are tasks in Ansible could also be included in playbook using modules include include underscore tasks. There is an include underscore verse that is for including variables from tasks. For using each of these modules, you can refer to ansible-doc-s include or ansible-doc include underscore tasks. Here's an example of task inclusion. Playbook include underscore task.yaml installs Apache and configures a custom index.html using include and include tasks. We perform these tasks on a console window here. I hope this video helped you. And if it did, make sure to give us a like. Also, don't forget to subscribe and not just subscribe. Ring the bell so that you, my friend, don't miss any of my future deep trick or tutorial. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next. Until then, stay tuned and make sure you keep automatic.